Black China has really been redeeming herself in the public eye as someone who people judged and accused of having a child with Robert Kardashian for revenge on Tyga. People are now saying that she's come a long way and they feel bad they ever judged her. She's been sitting down for some interviews recently where she opened up about the journey she's been on from being in the Kardashian family to not showing her kids as much to focusing on herself and her businesses. China has also been in the process of reinventing and trying to change the way people view her. And in a recent interview she did on Revolt, she talked about how people perceive her and how she's really trying to break away from those narratives and set the record straight. She said that she feels really misunderstood and she's been really trying to discover who she is and present that version of herself to the rest of the world. And in that process, she's also been taking steps to be more natural, which has been something that is super important to her lately. She's opened up on her Instagram over the last few months about completely changing her life, starting with taking out silicone that she had in her butt and saying that she was going to get a breast reduction and dissolve her filler that was in her face. And she's been speaking out on the dangers of altering your look with silicone and doing all of this on her Instagram. She's vlogged the whole process and really try to spread that message out there that you do not need to change yourself. And this has all been a part of her healing journey. I'm actually on my way to go get these fillers dissolved from my cheeks and from my jawline because enough is enough. It all has to come out. I'm so excited about taking these fillers out. Like, what is this? But when it comes to other things that she's changing, she's sticking up for herself, which is something that she said she's never really done. She's let people believe what they want about her and come up with their own narratives. And that's what's formed her reputation. Yeah, I would just let people just run with their stories. So it kind of created like this barrier between like, you know, like what's true and what's false because I never like really came out and say, okay, this is what really happened and this and that because I just never really felt like that I needed to. Because mm -hmm. it's like you can't really argue with the internet. Right, you never You feel win. me? And then, and then on the other side, it's just going to burn you out. You're going to be looking crazy. It's like a, a thing that you'll never win. You'll never win that battle. And when it comes to the Kardashians, people have always thought that she was with Rob for clout purposes and for revenge on Tyga and that being her fiance and also the father of her son. But she's been trying to clear the air on that one, even though some may not believe her to this day. But she claims she didn't do that for any sort of revenge and she is only with people because of a connection and not for a scheme. And it definitely wasn't no get back lick type thing. Like, mm. it wasn't. No, because that's how we feel. I like, don't have. I don't have the patience for all that. I feel like it was because yeah. it was just so like, bitch. Now with your brother and we sisters. No, I I don't got that much time. It may it may look that way, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like Robbie had hit me up for a long time, and I just kind of like felt felt bad for him. Mm -hmm or whatever. Not bad, but I just wanted to see what was up. But she says that Rob was the one to originally reach out to her. It wasn't like she was begging Robert to be with her and she was plotting and scheming and planning and all that. No, she said that he reached out to her. They started hanging out and originally she thought that the Kardashians were trying to set her up or something and it was this whole negative thing, but he genuinely just wanted to hang out with her and they hit it off. Mm -hmm. Cause at first when he was hitting me up, I thought they was trying to set me up. Mm -hmm. Cause like, why is your brother hitting me up? Right. That's crazy to me. So he hit you up first. Yeah, all in my DM. I came over, but I'm gonna tell you this, I came over the first time and um, first time it was at Chloe's house. So that mm -hmm. was that was fun. Um, Cause he was living with her at the time. And I just talked to him. And despite everything that has gone down between her and the Kardashians with the lawsuits and all the drama, she doesn't say anything bad about this time or speak of any regrets. She says that she understands why he's really private about his life now and they're on good terms. And I understand like why he's like really not out in the public and stuff is like you get burnt out from it right. and people will burn you out. So it was like, why even do it? Cause people be like, where's Rob? Why don't come out? Mm -hmm. Man, he's chilling. So are y'all still friends? Like y'all cool now? Yeah, we conversate, yeah. 
But she admits that she's learned a lot about relationships over the years and what not to do. And she used to rush into things, which led to a lot of the downfall in her relationships. And she's trying not to do that. For me, it was always like, I never really got to know the person first. Mm -hmm. It was always head first. Yeah. Like you like me, I like you. Okay, we go together. Exactly. Now. Then when you start to get to know them, it's uh, like, like, oh my God. I hate you, like, you. Like, why are you eating like that, bruh? <laughs> Like, why are you even talking like that? But going back to the Kardashians, something a lot of people have brought up is that her daughter with Rob is always with Chloe. And people have always wondered what the deal was with that. If Chloe was trying to take her place as this mother role to shade China, or if Rob was not watching her, what was going on? Because from Chloe's socials, people felt like she was literally the one that was raising their daughter Dream and she was living with Chloe or something because Dream is always with Chloe and her daughter True. But according to China, that is not the case that Chloe is raising their daughter Dream. She addressed this in another interview that she recently did where she was asked about Chloe and Dream dream and she wanted to clear the air right away by saying that she shares 50 50 custody with rob and she can't control if chloe is watching dream at robert's house but whenever she is with chloe it's during rob's time it's not during china time with their daughter and she says that when she has her daughter she is a hundred percent present with her so whenever people are seeing chloe with dream that's rob's time and people have been wondering like what is going on because of the stuff that chloe has posted including this story here that says dream mommy and true but stating that china had nothing but nice things to say about rob in the revolt interview i think that she's probably okay with chloe especially since she is really close with true i think as long as her daughter is happy and taking care of she probably doesn't care too much she just wouldn't want it to come off as it looking bad on her but something that is interesting though and something that people have noted is that china has said that she would like to keep her kids out of the limelight and protect them because they will have to face that a lot when they're older due to their parents and doesn't want them to have to deal with that kind of an audience and judgment so young but obviously with the kardashians they do have such a big name they're bringing the press and the paparazzi and they post their daughters all the time. And like I said, Chloe is always posting dream, but that's not really something that China personally says that she does when it comes to her kids. She's really trying to keep them private. The only thing that Chloe really seems to keep private and the rest of the Kardashians is their boys. I've talked about it in a video before where people find it very interesting that the Kardashian Jenner sisters like to post their daughters and really don't show their sons as much. It's just been something interesting that people have really picked up on and I don't see that stopping anytime soon, but China is not one to really post her kids. I saw like one video of her in Dream on her Instagram. She really is mostly posting herself and she's really trying to protect her kids, but it seems like Chloe's still gonna post Dream. I barely post my kids because like, honestly, they're already, they're going to be like who they are because of the parents and the family that's surrounded um, by both. You know what I mean? So it's like, why even burn my kids out? I want to keep them as like secluded as possible so they can have like their imagination and things like that. Right. And be super like creative and not like, um, okay, walk outside and it's like tits, you know, giving them anxiety and things like that to where so they have to like start at a young age worrying about like how they look or how they dress or just this or that. Like that's not like my plan with them. But when it comes to just China, it does seem like she's turning around her public image, especially as she speaks out more and more. And the comment section under the recent interview with Revolt was filled with people just praising her saying, I'm actually ashamed for judging her in the past. I love her new outlook on life. It's really inspiring. She truly needed a platform to show how good change is and it's relatable. Def liking this side of Angela, it's refreshing to see growth and maturity play out in real time versus what we saw from her before. I truly hope she is at peace. Even just the explanations and content of her conversations come off as genuine and sincere and is inspiring to see. I love her maturity and how she is working on herself without bashing anyone else or anyone in the industry. I think a lot of people can learn from her transformation and how humble she is because her primary focus is herself and being her best self. She's not focused on holding a grudge or calling out the demons in the industry, etc. She's just recognizing how thirsty she was for stardom 
and how now she wants to balance out her talents and her success and make sure that she's presenting authenticity versus what she believes society wants to see. So that's what's going on with Black China. Let me know what you guys think about everything that is kind of going on with her trying to make these changes and her seemingly on good terms with the Kardashians despite those lawsuits and the former drama and do you think that the kardashian jenner sisters are as forgiving of her as she might be let me know your thoughts in the comments i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys